Uh, this is a, a very early pre-alpha state of the uh, model for the wreck. Uh, we're, we're actually at the top of A deck here and we're about to drop down the grand staircase. Currently you can see there's an awful lot of mesh still to be modelled and still to be put in place. But we're starting to get the main visual elements built up now and we're starting to build up the the actual area so that it, you know towards its final look. Um, this is going to be one of the fundamental parts of the wreck because it's the main thoroughfare by which we will gain access to all the different levels. Um, it was actually the main thoroughfare back in the time when the, wreck, when the ship was in service um, and it's such an iconic location from both photographs and the movie. Um, it leads into the main D-Deck lounge which was really the hub for, for higher class passengers who were aboard the Titanic. It's a very, very, very large space. It, it's almost cavernous, you know, and so much of it is full of debris and silt and the rusticles of closed in areas and yet other areas are wide open. Um, so it, it, it should be a really, really interesting area for people to explore. And it's also going to give access to all sorts of other much narrower, much tighter areas where it will there will be a lot more claustrophobic. Uh, the stained glass windows, uh, they, they have remained remarkably intact. I mean, they're quite rusty in, in places, but the glass is more or less all in, in place. Um, so they, they stand out as you're going through the wreck through all the decaying wood, and then you, you come across these windows, and they, sh they reflect back at you, and they look, look so amazing. As we swing through the area, um, at the moment you can see the floor debris has yet to be built up and you, but you can see how the rustic holes and the upper debris is starting to show a hint of what the final models are going to look like. Uh, the piano uh, gives a great idea of the quality that we're aiming for. It's, it's a fantastic model. It didn't actually appear, it, it, nobody's actually found the piano yet but it is an iconic part from the movie and we, we thought it would be a nice feature for people to see 